adventure was great. Yeah, tell me about it. What did you see out there in the world of the driveway? What's that? There's a package Is for us. For us? From who? From me. We're going to do an unboxing video right here live on camera. Is it for us or for you? It's for us. It's for both of us. Okay. So, I have no idea. I know. It's a surprise. It's not my birthday yet. Nope, not yet. But this is your present. <laughs> really? Well, I don't know. Maybe. I like surprises a lot. This is something that I got. I'm really excited about. So I thought we would unbox it right here. I'm sure. Hmm. Okay. So. Box in a box. Box okay. in a box. Box right. in a box. This is a very nice packing job. Very well packaged. Very safe packaging. Very. Corona safe. <laughs> yes. It is Corona safe. Mm -hmm. I need a new razor blade. My razor blade is lacking sharpness. I think I might notice this. Yeah? You're starting to get somewhere, like mm -hmm. get an idea. Oh, there we go. There's the other one. Is there more tape? What the, what the heck? I don't know where the opening is. Oh, there it is. Let's just rip it. What do you say? We'll just rip it. We're already two minutes in. We haven't seen the item yet. There it is. Looky there. <laughs> How about that, huh? It's a Weems and Plath yacht lamp. It's so nice. So nice. It's got a little uh, controller here for the... Oh, yeah, still works. Good. And that's it. Pretty cool. It is pretty cool, right? Mm-hmm. Are you excited? So excited. So excited. I am excited with the fact that I didn't buy it new. I bought it secondhand. It has this lovely patina on it already. You can see it's very... Like, down here, it's still pretty shiny. But this is quite new. And... Um, but it still has that nice patina. I really like brass that is aged. I don't like it all shiny and bright like down here, but this is this is close to new. So it's pretty awesome. Where'd you get it? This came from eBay. I found a good deal on one. And this one looked like it was in great shape, so I went for it. And uh, they sell these things for like $200 new, but I got this one for 65 so I think, that's a, I think that's a pretty legit deal. It's not the exact one that I wanted. Yeah, it's not on a gimbal. Well, the gimbal is separate. You can get that separate. But this is actually a larger one, too. Than you wanted. Yeah. I, it was the one that I was thinking is smaller, but this one is cool, too. I'll just keep my eye open for the small one and maybe trade into a small one one day or something. But I'm thinking this could, this would hang nicely, like right here somewhere, you know, over our table. Mm-hmm. I think mean, it'd be great. I don't really need the gimbal because we're not on a boat, you know. I could just like put it on a hook that hangs. Yeah, well, I mean you'll have to take it down when you're driving anyway, because it'll bang against the wall. Either that or have like a little strap. A little strap I could put around it, a little bungee, you know, that I can like hook on. Yeah, because it's glass, so. Or ha hold it up higher, maybe. Like, on the wall. Oh, on the wall? That looks more here. appropriate. Yeah, well, whatever. I, I, don't, I don't have any concrete ideas of where it's going to go or whatever, but the way it works is this bottom part just unscrews.
it unscrews a lot for safety, you know. And you can set that aside. And then you got this little guy. This is the wick assembly. I don't know if you can see the little mover in there. Mm -hmm. That's adjustable from the bottom. And you can push the wick up if you need to, you know, snuff it out or make the flame bigger, a little light brighter. Then when you need to put oil in, you unscrew this little guy. Or is it this little guy? Maybe. Yeah, there it is. And move that out of the way. This lifts up out of there. And you put the oil right inside of there. Pretty cool. I wonder if it has oil in it. it smells oily. It definitely has, has, has been used. I mean, the photo that they sent, that they had on the listing, showed this lit. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it definitely is fresh with oil. Like, it's still wet with oil. Unfortunately, we don't have any oil to put in it. That's the only that's one downside. What kind of oil do you put in it? Lamp oil, lantern oil. Kind of like kerosene. I think kerosene would probably work as well. But the great thing about these little guys is that they're windproof. They're windproof. Like, if this gets knocked over or something, the flame is completely encased in glass. And, um, you know, you don't have to really worry about fire that much with this. Uh, windproof as well. The, um, this lantern will heat up when you're, when it's lit. So this will remove some moisture from the van and give off a little bit of heat to kind of bring the temperature up some and, you know, in cold conditions. And it has like a great look. I mean, it's like having a little fireplace. Um, you know, I just love the look of like a natural flame or I, I just think it's awesome. So I'm super stoked about that and can't wait to get some lamp fuel for it. <laughs> cool. Since we're on the topic of lamps and heating and stoves and whatever, I got this little guy, which I totally love. And this is just a, a little stove that is made out of a tin can, like a beer can or whatever kind of can, cerveza. I think this was a beer can. Uh, someone made this. I did not make it, but I love it. And I'm going to show you how it works. You just take a little bit of... How do you uh, make it? I don't know how to make it. It's harder to make than it seems. Um, you have to be very precise with this, Oops, it just but, uh, that's okay. <laughs> um, all you do, all you have to do is you can use, uh, alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and you just pour like a capful in there. It doesn't take much at all. I've kept warm. I've kept warm many times, like editing video late night with one of these. You just kind of light it up with a lighter. We have a long lighter. We do have a long lighter, you're right. I should get it. We have the technology. Okay, there we go. Oh. Hasn't been lit in a while. There we go. Okay, so it doesn't look like much now, but once it starts rolling, you'll see there's little ports here around the edge and they'll start to pull the alcohol up through the ports and fire Oh, there it comes. And this thing gives off a good amount of... Oh, the rain's coming. It gives off a good amount of heat. There's been many times I sat around editing video and just like keeping myself warm from just this little guy. And apparently you can boil a cup of water on this pretty easily. Um, but look at that flame. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy, you know? And it's warm, so... This is a nice little backpacker's tool that is used if you want a very small thing to cook food on or keep warm or whatever. Um, I mean, I, it's pretty awesome. I love it. It's so cool. And it's warm. My hands are freezing right now. What do you think of them? You like them? That? Yeah. Um, yeah, just I wonder about um, just whatever, like killing ourselves. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I've done this many, many times and never 
killed myself. I'm still here. Well, not just killing ourselves, but breathing in that. But Isopropyl alcohol is pretty... How long does it pretty, burn for? A uh, couple minutes. They say it's enough to boil like a cup of water. So, um, if you had like a little tin can or something, like a tin cup, like this, you could hold it over that and boil a cup of water pretty easily. So if you want to make like oatmeal, anything like with the... Uh, with, but there's still a good amount of fluid in there. This is going to burn for a little while. Mm -hmm. And it's actually pretty cool to the touch down here. You can actually pick it up. But um, I love these little things. And if you do want to put it out, you can actually just cover it and that'll put it out. Um, and then you can fire it back up. And it, I mean, they, they work really great. Whoever came up with this idea is pretty uh pretty smart but uh they're hard to make i've tried to make these before i need to like follow like very specific instructions and get some pliers and stuff to make it but i'm not that good someone made this and then i don't even know who made it they gave it I, it was given to me by someone who didn't make it they, it was given to them so mm -hmm. i don't know that's pretty awesome though huh i mean from a, little, from a little cap of uh, for like a survival tool from just a little cap of alcohol, which I think alcohol is a van life necessity. It's useful for a lot of different things, injuries. It's really great, you know, if you need to clean stuff. Um, and keeping warm in, a, in an emergency, like if you're in a dire situation where you're freezing to death, I, I would love to have this. I mean, it'd be a lifesaver, you know, so. Don't burn your beard. No, I won't get that close. Oh my god. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. With that and my Weems and Plath lamp, man, we're, we'll be set for a long time. We, we don't have to worry about nothing. It's about to blow out now. It's about to run out of fuel. But, yeah. That was all. I just wanted to show you guys a few cool things that you can do to keep warm and stay lit in your bread truck. For all of you other people that have bread trucks. Mm -hmm. There are more and more every day. Thanks.